Sorry. Uh, that is probably the singular best E3 meme out of all of them. I, I've brought Donald and Megan on to discuss other stuff, but it must be said that I'm that is the... I, I don't know. Out of all the memes, that is still my favourite after all this time. Just... <laughs> yeah. it, it, it was such a train wreck at the time. Like... And it's probably like the lasting legacy of that particular E3. Who Correct. remembers what happened in E3 like 2010? All you remember is Mr. Caffeine. And then we just watch up for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> yes. Yeah, E3 I, is like literally my Christmas. I right. stay up all night. <laughs> I don't sleep and I rock up to work the next day with so much gossip and high on energy drinks. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, cool. Mm. Well, like, and that is the reason I've got you guys here. So that is the one thing that E3 suffered from recently is that the, it, I won't say its relevance is gone but it's waning because suddenly oh there's a leak and this got leaked oh. and that got leaked so What's it's either 4chan these days? 4chan or retailers that's they're the two yeah. main sources of leaks it blows my mind like with a marketing background now I know those things aren't leaks that's someone's job to slip it into the media somehow with a press kit and everything they need to launch a pre like a press release on every single major news outlets of all time I still want to believe that the Canadian Walmart leak of, Walmart leak of 2018 was real. I that want was to believe crazy. that that, that was, was a so sincere huge. goof. Otherwise, you had yes. to have like Someone 20 developers. <laughs> what's got all in on this but particular I, I, game? I think, I think so. that is the thing. Sometimes there are legitimate kind of this person has insider knowledge or this person hit go on the website six hours too early. But I think you're right. I think the cynical prick in me, and after all this time, is it's not cynical. Yeah. It's just like world experience now. Yes. And I think it's t the games that know they're not AAA, but they mm. still want their time to shine and get that niche audience attention yeah. and not get drowned out by all the big shot stuff we're about to talk about, um, take away their attention. And, and so, and that is the obviously the big ones are we have like lots of consoles to discuss. But yes. Sony isn't attending at all. So they've Which already come. Which is tradition now. They've come out two, uh, two months ago and li uh, did an exclusive with, I think it was The Wire or The Verve or something like that. Um, and they basically they've come out and, and detailed a fair bit about their console. All their nonsense about AMD, all their nonsense about that. So we know about that one. I still maintain, I've said this for a long time, that we're going to see uh, like the new Xbox get announced. They kind of have to. And it's going to be a case of Xbox One X becomes the new standard and right. it becomes the new... And, it be and like Microsoft is kind of like maintaining the legacy of the traditional big E3 yes. reveal because Two and a half Nintendo, hours, yeah. Nintendo has confirmed that they're not going to be renouncing any new hardware at E3, which may be incredibly wrong at this fact. <laughs> but also, but yeah, and with Sony not there, it's who else is going to bring the shiny new next box but Microsoft? I think it's too early for a Switch 2.0. I think they've just made incredible targets with their sale project sales projections for the Switch. Yeah. And I think the whole world would revolt if they started to launch a new thing just like, now. They've like, got a long yeah. way to go. Like I've said for a long time, I think that it'll need a hardware revision as soon because it's a piracy. Um, but I also think that if they're going to do it, it'll be a 2DS version. Then a new Switch won't be for a while. Like, okay. I, I think you're 100% right on that yeah. one. But I guess the big one to discuss is games. Because there's a lot of games that have suddenly, there's been lots of like little leaks here and there. Oh, and mate. All this different yeah. stuff coming I'm out. I'm hanging like seriously on the edge of my seat. And as players know at home, how excited we are for Animal Crossing. Please, God. Oh, my God. It's I'm going to be this year. Because they think they said this year, didn't they? Nintendo don't lie to us like that. I'm not going to get a please understand. So, like, you know, Iwata is no longer with us, so we can't get a please understand. So. Yes, yes. Um, but, I mean, there are some other stranger ones. Like, you know, George R.R. R. Martin teaming yes. up with From Software. This is massive. For a game. Like, massive. So, oh, I wonder, is it just going to be like a reskin Dark Souls or something? Absolutely, like, it is. Got, look, That's well, what players want. <laughs> well, George R.R. Martin, like, like, will he just write all the sort of the uh, decrypted flavor text on all the objects that he pick up? Yeah, yeah. Is it just going to be like... 50 page descriptions of food and boobs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, you know, a, a fire of a story of food and boobs. You know? At least it'll be a beautifully narrative, like in depth tale where everyone's going to get amongst it. I think people are going to hang, be hanging for that. Yeah. And, and like, we, I mean, we have had ones that, so there's a few that have leaked, especially THQ. So THQ, there's kind of a thing of, oh, we're going to have 100 games there. Two that have kind of come a little bit to the fore are, uh, there's potentially a new Saints Row. Which this is massive, really. actually. Mm -hmm. Nothing's, I don't think anything's massive been drib uh, dribbled about that since. Yeah. Forever. Yeah, just Plus, out of nowhere. Yeah. And what yeah. else have they got on the table? Uh, Red Faction's the other one. Red yeah. Faction, Absolutely. there's apparently a, a Destroy All Humans yes. as well. Darksiders? Yeah. Okay. So, so Yeah, like THQ I'm from ready. a company that, was, that apparently went bankrupt maybe five, ten years ago. They yeah. Are suddenly... So they got bought by Deep Silver slash Koch Media, didn't yeah. they? So, you know, that's where that money comes from mm -hmm. suddenly. So, you know, it, that's one of those big ones that has been interesting to see the kind of the, the change and, and how suddenly that's a thing. There's rumours of a new Batman from Rocksteady. I am excited for that, but I, I think people are ready. Yeah. Like, it's a franchise people actually want to see yeah. more content from. But what I'm worried about is actually Bethesda. They've just had a massive release with Rage, which is successful 
successfully beaten the Borderlands 3 bandwagon yeah. and had its own time to shine, even though it's the same. Yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah. actually really interested to see if they talk about Elder Scrolls 6 again. They have they to, because yeah. otherwise, yeah. otherwise, like, what else do they have? Otherwise, it's an hour long apology letter for Fallout 76. Yeah. And there's only <laughs> so much <laughs> that Todd We're talking can. about the war time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, no, and you are. And that is that thing of. You know, what topics, what other topics I have to bring up? And, you know, it, it really does become, you know, we've covered a lot of the big rumours and there's a lot of ones that you kind of like, take it with a grain of salt. But then there's always that one random 4chan rumour you write off and go, that sounds so stupid, <laughs> as if that's true. And then you're like, ah, oh, that was actually 100% what if accurate. Their uncle really does work for Nintendo, yeah, funny <laughs> that. What if any of the big AAAs release another mobile title, kind of like... Uh, I Nintendo, Nintendo have um, Mario Kart. Yep. Mario oh, it's Kart. in beta. Beers pop. Beers pop. Yeah. And Diablo, how they did that bit, massive announcement oh, last yeah, year, yeah. everyone was like, oh. you've, all, you've all got phones. Yeah. <laughs> you've got a phone, don't you? Yeah. yeah. No, Look, I left it outside. At, we're in a studio here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Megan's excited. I think me and Don are a bit fatigued on it. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what actually comes out and whether any of these rumours actually have any legs to them. Who knows? By the time you watch this, you should hopefully know. Well, or you should be just about to know.